My name is Lisa Marshall. I'm the program director at Heat Smart Tompkins, now covering also Chemung County. And um, welcome to our uh, little Thursday night webinar series. This tonight, we're, the discussion topic is free heat beneath your feet, um, all about ground source, otherwise known as geothermal heat pumps. All right, so as I said, I'm the program director for Heat Smart Tompkins, um, now covering Tompkins and Chemung counties. Uh, we are a community based nonprofit, and our uh, mission is education and outreach about home energy efficiency, specifically building envelope improvements and heat pumps. Um, our message is to let everybody know about the wonderful cost savings, the comfortable, healthy home solutions, and the climate change solutions that. Um, that these um, upgrades to your house can represent. And we partner with um, four wonderful lo local area installers for some of this work, three of whom are joining us tonight. Um, but your relationship with them through HeatSmart is, is just a pass through. Um, we don't make any profit off of any sales that they may make, but we have these, these trusted installer partners to recommend to you. Okay. Where is the next slide? Okay, so what is HeatSmart? HeatSmart, as I said, is a community nonprofit. Uh, we do education and outreach, but HeatSmart Tompkins actually was a grassroots effort that was founded um, out of an initiative called Solar Tompkins. Solar Tompkins came about when some folks decided they wanted to do something about climate, climate change, but they were very tired of fighting the fossil fuel industry and instead wanted to promote uh, renewable energy solutions. So they founded Solar Tompkins, which was the first big solarized program in New York State. And it was so successful that this group, Solar Tompkins, decided what could they turn themselves to next? And they decided to tackle home heating and cooling, which is, a, as I'll show you, a very important piece of our, our carbon um, reduction efforts. And that's how Heat Smart Tompkins was born. Well, the state agency NYSERDA, New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, loved the idea of Heat Smart Tompkins and decided to fund similar programs across New York State, and you can see them here. This map is not quite up to date. It doesn't show that we cover Chemung, and then pretty soon, later this year, um, some, another Heat Smart, Heat Smart FLX will be starting in this area, Heat Smart Monroe, and another Heat Smart Finger Lakes program, and I'm not sure what they're gonna call themselves up in these counties here. So we'll be covering most of the state, but it all started right here with Heat Smart Tompkins, and that's something we're very, very proud of. Well, why is it important to um, promote energy efficiency in heat pumps? Well, you might have heard we're in the middle of something called the climate, cri climate crisis or climate emergency, and the only way we're going to get ourselves out of it is by rapidly cutting down on our greenhouse gas emissions. Well, how do we emit greenhouse gases in New York? Basically in three ways, transportation, on-site combustion, and electricity. And on-site combustion, this pie piece over here, it says 38%, it's actually the biggest piece. Um, the way New York calculates it, it's a little smaller than transportation, but that's because they fudge the numbers a little. It's actually the biggest thing we need to do to reduce our carbon footprint. And on-site combustion, a lot of that is heating and cooling buildings and heating hot water for buildings. And so because 90% of New York households are burning fossil fuels for their heating, that is the the piece we have to tackle. Well, how do we do that? So HeatSmart has basically three major areas that we recommend. The first and most um, fundamental is looking at your building envelope. Um, if you're creating heat, is it staying in the building or is it escaping? <laughs> if you're um, cooling the building, is, it, is the cool air staying in your building or is it escaping? In order to keep your cool or warmed air in your building, you wanna make sure it's well insulated and air sealed. The second is space heating and cooling. That's mostly what we're gonna talk about tonight. And we recommend two options, air source heat pumps and ground source heat pumps or geothermal. Uh, ground source heat pumps is gonna be the discussion of tonight. And those are the most um, energy efficient, most long lasting and the cheapest systems to operate. 
they are more expensive to install and some places it's very difficult to install them. So in those cases, we recommend going to the air source heat pump option. And the third is domestic hot water. About 20% of your energy use in your home is heating up hot water. And we recommend um, two options for that, a, a heat pump water heater or something called a desuperheater, which can go along with your ground source heat pump um, installation if you so desire. So let HeatSmart be your guide. Um, the reason we need to exist is that the number one reason people don't install heat pumps is that they don't know about them. So we are here to fill that knowledge gap to connect you with information, with in the available incentives, which are changing all the time. We'll talk about that later. And with some trusted vetted installers who design excellent systems, who use only the best equipment, who train and support their employees very well. Um, those are the kinds of people we work with and we know you would like to work with too. So in the time of COVID-19, we've had to change our programs quite a bit. We used to do a lot of community meetings where we got to meet with you in person and that was really nice. We came to libraries and town halls and even to people's homes to talk about heat pumps and introduce you to our program but we're not doing that right now. So we have this webinar series. We have um, also starting next week, I believe, virtual home tour series, and we're doing everything online. Um, we recommend that you make use of our website. There's a lot of materials and resources there. You can also always call me or email me. I'm available to help you at any time. Um, you can also schedule a phone appointment with me. Um, so, sign up for our webinar series tell your friends about them um, the, the nice thing about not being in person is you can sit at home in your pajamas and have a beer and still come to our webinars um, and as for the assessments for your home that the installers do they are now um, that we're in phase four they they can or i think we're in phase four they can come to your house to do an assessment but if for any reason that's uncomfortable for you um, they can also still do remote assessments over the phone. You can send them pictures. They can take a look at your house and property on Google Earth. And there's lots of ways that they can help you figure out what you need without actually stepping foot in your home. Okay, so now to our presentation um, on ground source heat pumps. What do St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City, Purity Ice Cream in Ithaca, and the Elmira Corning Airport in Horseheads it's funny that it's not called the Horseheads Airport, right? Uh, anyway, <laughs> what do they all have in common? They're all heated and cooled with ground source heat pumps. Uh, there's, I like to say there's a heat pump solution for every building. Um, sometimes they're more complicated than others, but uh, you can do almost anything with a heat pump and a clever um, design. First, a quick thing about geothermal heating. There's two kinds and they're easy to get confused. Where I used to live in Iceland, they can heat buildings by just taking water that's already superheated by the earth because Iceland basically sits on top of a cone of molten rock. And so the groundwater gets heated by this hot lava and you can just take that hot water and use it to heat homes or to generate electricity. That's not the situation here, but geothermal, geo means earth and thermal means heat. So geothermal just means any heat from the earth. In the case of geothermal heat pumps or ground source heat pumps, what we are taking is heat that is in the, um, on the earth's surface that's absorbed by the earth's surface um, when the sun's rays hit the earth. And 47% um, of that solar energy is absorbed by the earth and the rest is reflected back into the atmosphere. So um, the, the heat beneath your feet is what we make use of when we talk about geothermal heat pumps in this context in this part of the world. Why is that doing that? I don't know. Okay, next slide. Here we go. So what's so great about these geothermal heat pumps that we have to have a whole webinar about them? They can be used in any climate, they are by far the most efficient way to heat or cool your house, up to 400 times efficient, 400% um, excuse me, uh, efficient, not 400 times, four times, 400%. Uh, they have the lowest operating cost of any heating system. They are long lasting. They will heat your home in the winter and cool it in the summer. 
they de dehumidify, um, depending on the kind of system, they can dehumidify while they're heating your house. They can also use, be used to preheat your hot water or to heat your hot water, depending on the kind of system you have put in. And at the same time, you're, they'll improve your indoor air quality and reduce your um, energy bills, especially if you're currently heating with any combination of propane oil or electric resistance heating, you will immediately start to save, as I'll show you uh, in a minute, um, on, your, on your bills. So there's three basic parts of a ground source heat pump system. There's the ground loop that um, collects the heat from the ground. There's the refrigerant loop that takes that heat and uh, pumps it up through a, a refrigeration loop of, of condensation and evaporation. And then there's the distribution system that pushes that heat out into your home, which you're already familiar with because whatever heating system you have now also has a distribution system. So that part is, is very familiar. Um, and let's look a little bit more at what these ground loops are. So there's three sort of general kinds of ground loops that we see around in this area. We, we only recommend a closed loop system. There are things called open loop systems, but I'm not gonna cover those. So your ground loop system could be horizontal trenches dug in your property, especially if you live out in the country and you have a nice big property, um, they can, we can dig, the contractors can dig these trenches and lay these um, heat collecting coils in the ground and bury them. And then that will bring the, the earth's heat back into your house to the, to the heat pump. But if you don't have room for that, or you just don't want the disruption, um, a well driller can come and dig boreholes or a borehole, depending how big a system you need, straight down. And a lot of people tell me, oh, I can't get geothermal. I'm right on top of bedrock. Actually, that isn't a problem at all. They can drill right through that bedrock without any problem. Um, some other kinds of geology under your house could be problematic, but bedrock isn't usually one of them. And a third option is a, a water or pond loop. Um, if you have the right kind of pond that is big enough and close enough to your house, that can be a great option for you. Um, proceed with caution. You don't want to have somebody do that who isn't experienced at doing it um, because uh, if it if it got a bunch of ice frozen on it that loop could float right to the top of your pond and that would not work very well. So when your installer um, or, ins or any any number of installers come and give you an evaluation for your house they'll discuss which of these options is, is the best for your situation. And these pictures just show um, the well driller digging a borehole for a, a vertical loop field versus the horizontal loop field on the right. Um, those trenches are actually quite a bit deeper than they look. Um, the, they're, they're pretty deep. They're about, they're at least six feet deep, I think. Um, and these are probably 100 to 150 feet long. Okay. So this little guy that looks like a refrigerator is the actual heat pump itself. Um, so you have your loop field out in your pond or vertically or horizontally in your yard. It's sending um, fluid through a tube out there which gets to be about the temperature of the ground around it and is brought back into your house at around 50 degrees and go, but 50 degrees isn't warm enough to heat your house up, right? If you want your house to be 70 degrees, you can't make it 70 degrees with 50 degree water. So it goes into this heat pump um, and that is where the magic of the refrigeration loop happens. And that um, heat is, goes through the um, heat compressor and is heated up and then distributed out into your house, either via um, forced air system, ductwork as is shown in this picture, or, um, or more like a boiler where you're heating up water and distributing it through um, a hydronic system. So here are three quick case studies. I can't go deeply into each one, but I have one for each of our installer partners. This is my, actually my friend Katie's beautiful modern farmhouse. And Katie and Dave um, had propane and wood 
and they were spending a lot of money every year on propane and wood. And they decided to, they have radiant floors on all three floors of their house. So NP Environmental came in and put in um, a heat pump system for them that replaced that propane boiler. And um, they had been spending about $4,000 a year on fuel. And after they got their heat pumps, it went down to about $400 a year. Uh, they've actually tracked their spending over the years so they can show you in a spreadsheet. Um, they also were more comfortable. They were keeping the house quite cold before because they didn't want to spend so much propane and now they keep it at a toasty 68 degrees. And um, the payback period was quite rapid for this. So not including what it would have cost them to replace the boiler, which needed to be replaced at the time. Um, just straight payback on their annual energy savings. It paid for itself in six years. Um, this is showing the price before the incentives, the price after the incentives. We'll talk about incentives in a minute. This is quite a few years ago, so the incentives have also changed a bit since then, but um, it gives you an idea of what is possible. Okay, this next job was is a more recent one in Lansing, New York, where there's a gas moratorium, and this is um, Bruce Monger's house. This was a job done by Daily Electric, another one of our wonderful installer partners. And this is actually the before photo with this hideous propane tank right on the front lawn there in front of this charming house, really ruining the whole aspect of the house. And um, that is not there anymore because Ryan Daly and his crew put in a Water Furnace 5 Series um, heat pump system um, for Bruce Monger. And Bruce is saving $2,000 a year on his energy bills. Um, and um, ex he's expected to pay that back the cost of his installation in uh, about four and a half years. I think that might include the cost of the new of a new propane furnace. I'm not sure, Ryan, maybe you can tell us later. And this last case study is a Halco Energy um, case study of, of um, Molly Beercree, I think is how it's said. Uh, she also had propane and oil. She had a forced air system and Halco put in a Geostar Sycamore uh, forced air variable speed heat pump. Um, they put a horizontal loop field and they also did a Geostar Aston water to water heat pump. So she, her, she's getting her hot water from a heat pump as well as her um, heating her house. And her uh, cost was about half after incentives and she's saving $2,000 a year on her energy bills. And I'm sorry, I didn't put the um, payout, the time to to pay off on that one. But um, as you can see, if you're currently heating with propane oil or electric resistance, you're gonna quickly see a lot of savings with a heat pump. So the incentives. We used to get our incentives from NYSERDA. Now they come from the utilities and it's basically a rebate of $1,500 per 10,000 BTUs or BTU hours. Who, well, who knows what that means? Well, basically a typical house in this area is usually between 25,000 and 60,000 BTU hours. My house is a little more than that. It's, it's large and really, really leaky. So your typical rebate um, from NYSEG is gonna be between about you know, 4,000 to $9,000. And that gets taken off the price that the installer quotes you and is um, paid back to the installer. So you're never paying that money up front. That's taken off of your the price you pay. But then whatever you do pay for a heat pump, if you get one this year, a ground source heat pump system or geothermal system, you can take a 26% tax credit next year off of whatever the, the price that you paid was. And of course, you have to owe federal taxes to take advantage of that. But if say the amount was greater than your tax liability for this year, you can stretch that out up to five years. So um, it's a pretty good deal. 
uh, if you didn't get a ground source heat pump this year, but got one next year, that tax credit's going to go down to 22% unless there's some change made in Washington before then. But 22% is not bad, but 26% is definitely a lot better. So get that heat pump this year if you want to do it. That's what I keep telling myself. Okay, so here's some price examples. Um, this is this spreadsheet is on our website. These are our um, the prices that are given to us by our installer partners. Um, they give our heat smart enrollees um, a guaranteed price. And so you can sort of get an idea of um, a, what a four ton system might cost. These are different kinds of systems. Um, but all about the same size. And a four ton is sort of a average house size, you might say. It's, a, it's what a lot of, uh, around the size that a lot of the systems we see get installed are. So looks like your, your um, cost before the tax credit is ranging here between about 23,000 to about 29,000. And then after the tax credit from like, 18,000 to 20,000 or so, which is still a lot of money. I, I give you that. Um, however, I did get permission to talk tonight about a new program that is going to be announced next week, <laughs> um, which is going to give really generous grants for heat pump systems ground source or air source systems to people who qualify for either the EMPOWER program or the Assisted Home Performance program in New York State. The EMPOWER program is everybody earning up to 60% of median income, the same as if you qualify for HEAP now. You could qualify um, with this new program for a free heat pump system. Um, and this is for people who are on propane or oil or electric resistance. People who are on gas will not be able to qualify for this right now. So, um, but for people who are spending those high prices for heating fuels, this program is for you. And if, you, if you're making a bit more than that, right now assisted home performance, which normally is only up for households up to 80% of median income, because of COVID has temporarily been extended to 120% of median income, those folks can get basically a half price heat pump system under this new program, which is called the heat pump adder, which is which will be announced soon. So if, if you fall into any of those categories, get in touch with Heat Smart and we'll get you queued up so that when this program um, launches, you'll be ready to take advantage of it right away. Um, just to give you an idea, a household size of four, um, if you are earning less than $115,138 a year, um, you will qualify for this assisted home performance. And by the way, there's also grants through those programs for em building envelope improvements, um, air sealing and insulation. So this heat pump program is on top of that other program and you can get both. In addition, there are other um, grants for income qualified folks through Heat Smart and through the Finger Lakes Climate Fund. So if you enroll with Heat Smart, which um, I'll talk about in a minute, uh, just check the box that says you want to be evaluated for um, income qualified assistance and we will uh, make sure that that happens. Okay, taking a look again at the cost of operating these systems, if you're looking at a three ton design, Okay, gas is pretty cheap right now. They say it won't be able to stay this cheap, but here would be your annual heating cost with gas for this house. Heating oil, more than twice that, ouch. Propane, more than three times, that's really painful. These might be slightly outdated prices, pre-COVID prices, okay? But electric resistance, about $2,000, $2,200. Air source heat pump, which we didn't talk about today, but we have many resources to tell you about air source heat pumps and also more webinars coming up. So stay tuned if you're interested in learning more about that. So that would be about the same as your gas system to run. But a ground source heat pump is by far the winner with a, in, this, in this situation, a three ton house, um, you'd be spending annually $642 to keep your house hot and probably also 
um, cold in the summer, most of the heat pump systems installed um, also give you air conditioning. And if you want air conditioning, you can specify that. If you're getting a forced air system, you automatically get air conditioning. If you have a hydronic system, you can get air conditioning. Okay, so that's almost it for me. Um, the, the next step for folks is to enroll on our website. If you scroll down, if you go to heatsmarttompkins.org, it says enroll, you click on that and you fill out a short survey and you say who of our installer partners you would like to come and do an assessment for you. And again, that assessment can be in person or remote. The home assessments are free and there's no obligation to you. Um, so whether you're just starting to think about getting heat pumps or whether you're ready to make the plunge, whether you need to get your house evaluated for insulation or air sealing first, um, anywhere you are in your journey, just go ahead and enroll with HeatSmart and that starts your relationship with us and our partners. Um, and um, whether or not you're ready to enroll, you can always call me or email me or make an appointment to talk to me and I'm happy to talk you through where the next step, the next step for you. So it gives me great pleasure to um, stop talking and introduce you to our three wonderful ground source heat pump installer partners, Daily Electric or Daily Geothermal out of Penn Yan, Halco Energy, um, well, I guess they're everywhere, <laughs> and NP Environmental um, that are um, up uh, it, towards the Utica area. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and let them each introduce themselves, and then we'll take questions. So, um, so Ryan Daly, we'll start with you. Um, why don't you say hello and introduce Daly Geothermal? Hi, I'm Ryan Daly. Uh, I own Daly Electric in Penn Yan. We are a small business. Uh, the focus is mainly on geothermal. We do residential plumbing and electric. We have uh, 20 employees. Uh, we have shifted most of our focus into geothermal and air source heat pumps in the last seven to eight years. And uh, that's our main focus. We're part of the Heat Smart Tompkins program and, and part of the Southern Tier program also. And have had very good success with both uh, programs. Um, and continue to, hopefully things continue to be good. Sorry, Lisa, I didn't know I was talking. I was like, oh shoot. Sorry, I know I shouldn't spring that's that up. Okay. I decided to go in alphabetical order. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> I'm so good at this. I know. And uh, tell the folks what kind of heat pump systems you install. We with. install water furnace. Uh, we install mainly GRE air source, but mostly water furnace, well, all water furnace products uh, for our geothermal stuff. The majority of the stuff we install is 7 Series. Um, and we have for quite a while. Thanks, Ryan. And we'll yes. go to Matt Dennis next of Halco Energy. Hello, uh, my name is Matt with Halco Energy. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about Halco. Uh, we've been in business since 1984. We are a whole home energy company. Uh, we do everything. As a matter of fact, our, our motto is yes, we do that. Um, <clears throat> so everything from uh, you know ground source heat pumps, air source heat pumps, traditional HVAC, heating, plumbing, electric, insulation, building envelope improvements, basement waterproofing, pretty much anything in your house we can handle. <clears throat> we've got 140 employees on staff. Uh, and about 40, uh, 40 dedicated uh, plumbers, electricians, and HVAC service techs that are available to, to back you up in the case anything goes wrong. We're over 24-7, 365. That is not a boast. If you call our house, our, our house don't call me. If you call a, our office at, uh, at uh, 2, 2 a.m. on a Sunday, real life, living, breathing human being answers the phone. Uh, you don't leave a message and get an answering service. You actually get a Halco employee at our office. So um, we have uh, satellite offices in Ithaca, Rochester, and Syracuse. We cover pretty wide territory. Um, most uh, the entire Finger Lakes area, from basically from Lake Ontario to the PA border, and then uh, from Rochester to Syracuse, and then even a little further beyond that. Uh, been with HeatSmart Tompkins since the beginning. Uh, we're part of uh, two other HeatSmart programs. Um, I'm sure we'll we'll be parts of others as they open up. Um, and uh, been doing geothermal for for quite some time. Uh, but uh, we you know focus on geothermal, air source heat pumps, whenever we can. Um, pretty excited about some of these new programs that are coming out. 
and uh, and uh, you know we're 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 hoping that more folks uh, are you know taking the time to learn this stuff and and be educated and and take advantage of one all the crazy incentives and rebates, but then all the money you save uh, you know putting in you know geothermal systems. Um, but yeah, it's uh, we're 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 glad everybody joined on, and we hope um, we hope you tell your friends and keep the snowball going. Thanks so much, Matt. And Nick, is it you or Kevin who's going to speak for NP today? Yeah, it will, it will be me tonight. Okay, great. Take it away. So we are NP Environmental. We were established in 2004. We specialize in ground source heat pumps, air source heat pumps, and indoor air quality systems. We've been with the HeatSmart program since the beginning. And uh, the programs have done very well for us. We're 100% true believers on what they bring to the industry and what it's done for us. And I just want to take one minute to thank uh, thank Jonathan, the former HeatSmart director. He's, uh, he's the one that pioneered these programs. And my hat goes off to him. He's done uh, an excellent job. And we're very excited to continue to participate in the program with the new director, Lisa. Uh, I'm sure everybody we're in great hands with her. She's, uh, she's a great person. So we're excited. This is an exciting time to be in the industry. Looking back at our company when we started in 2004, I think uh, most people would have said we were crazy to go in the, the heat pump industry. But if you look at it now and you look back on conversations that I've had with, with others in the industry, now couldn't be a better time. You have great incentives. You have a great push from the political side. And the extreme benefit you get from being in this industry is significant. And uh, we have passionate people in our company too. And I think that's one of the things that, that really excites me is the individuals that we're able to bring into the company. And uh, they express that passion to our customers. And our customers are equally the same. They're passionate about this technology and they're, they're taking on uh, the heat pumps and, and bringing it to everyone else. And you see the, the case studies, the webinars, the information that's out there. I believe it's all helpful to, to grow the industry. And we're just very excited to be a part of the industry at this time. And we can't wait to help you to understand and take advantage of uh, 200 to 400% efficiency and those numbers they seem high and they, they may seem unreasonable, but they are fact and heat pumps do deliver on, uh, on what we say they do. So we look forward to meeting you. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. It took me a long time, guys, to figure out that NP environmental is because per Putniewitz environmental is too hard to say. <laughs> you are. It's a long one, 13 letters. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 